Good afternoon on this Monday, June 25th. We are still monitoring Tropical Storm Debbie located in the northeast Gulf of Mexico, and although it has weakened slightly, that is not going to take anything away from the heavy rainfall threat that will persist over portions of Florida for at least the next 24 to 48 hours. Here are the latest two and a half day radar estimates from the Tallahassee site and you can see that this entire area has received an upwards of six to seven inches but if we zoom in just to the south of Tallahassee into Wakulla County and please correct me if I'm wrong on the pronunciation you can go ahead and reply to this video on YouTube but if we zoom in we can see that the radar estimates are approaching 17 to 18 inches and we are under a flash flood warning and look how fast the radar totals are going up within just the last few hours so this is fairly concerning especially when we turn on the latest radar animation and we have a very intense band that is nearly stationary so we are going to finish with 25 plus inches of rainfall in all likelihood before this is all said and done so flash flooding is going to remain a major concern here is a look at the regional radar animation and you can see that the rainfall across central and southern Florida is still sporadic but thankfully not quite as heavy as what we saw yesterday although we still cannot rule out a few isolated severe storms including the risk of isolated brief tornadoes but so far it's looking like the heaviest concentration of the rainfall will be out across northern Florida moving eastward eventually into Jacksonville and the forecast track does take the storm steadily across the peninsula so that is where the main rainfall is going to set up over the next one to two days the HPC is also sharing a similar idea as this is their five day precipitation forecast. So this is 17 additional inches of rainfall being expected near the Big Bend of Florida. Although this does somewhat account for what has already fallen since 8 a.m. this morning. But you can still take away that there's going to be at least another 10 to 15 inches bare minimum here across the northern half of the state. The latest visible satellite animation reveals that we are still dealing with a very broad cyclonic spin that extends all the way from the northern Gulf of Mexico northward into the Florida Panhandle where there has been a recent flare-up of convection and that is what is causing all the heavy rainfall that we just saw to the south of Tallahassee, Florida on the radar and this is going to be a lingering problem but overall this very broad circulation should begin to move more toward the east northeast and that is what the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center is calling for so once the next couple of days are said and done with the system should be east of Florida and we will be able to dry out afterwards and then we'll just have to monitor what Tropical Storm Debbie may do once it likely gets into the western Atlantic the national water vapor clearly shows the amplifying trough across the mid-Atlantic and New England states and this is the main culprit behind the reason why Tropical Storm Debbie will be able to move eastward into the West Atlantic but thereafter it looks as though this trough may still not be amplified enough to where it fully captures the storm and pushes it out to sea and therefore we are still anticipating Tropical Storm Debbie to remain a fairly slow moving storm throughout the five day forecast period and there is an outside possibility that the building ridge out across the central United States will continue to prograde and therefore there is that outside possibility that Debbie gets left behind to meander around the eastern seaboard and the latest run from the GFS is showing a similar situation with Debbie taking its good old time crossing Florida and even once it gets into the West Atlantic the overall forward motion is not expected to be all that significant so this is going to be the next thing that we're going to have to monitor as we go beyond day three but in the short term the focus will be on the potential flooding across Florida and that's all we have for now so keep it tuned to 28storms.com Please add us to your bookmarks or favorites list as we will be continuing our Debbie coverage along with coverage of the hurricane season throughout the remainder of the year. So thank you again and have a nice day.